friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a very hard cataract nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 6 and this is a totally unedited surgery and you can consider this is a life surgery for you by this time the main incision has been made and two sideboards on on either side of the main incision about three clock hours away are made an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and this is tripan blue dye to stain the anterior capsule the idea behind using this dye is to get some contrast though the cataract is almost black Uses of this dye will offer some contrast to the surgeon. I wash the dye out with PSAs and then use the viscoelastic substance. What kind of viscoelastic substance we should use? Yes, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is good enough. We don't need any chondroitin sulfate for such cases only thing is we have to deliver all the ultrasonic energy inside the lens mass maintain the anti-chamber depth we remain at the central 3 to 4 millimeter safe zone never come anterior to the iris plane and thus we can protect the cornea very well we can apply SPMC in between surgery so chondroitin sulfate is optional it is not a necessity and now capsulorexis being done hydro dissection is done in this way small helicots or PSAs is injected at several points at least two points the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated the nuclear the uh, people is mid dilated in this case so we have to be very careful in management of the nucleus particularly when we separate the pieces we apply opposite forces after chopping we must take care of that part when the people is mid dilated I have exposed the little more so that I can deliver more ultrasonic energy into the substance of the nucleus some superficial cortical lens matter has been removed the handpiece is turned and now watch the submarine chop the beauty of submarine chop the teeth goes into the substance of the nucleus just in front of the main incision travels through the nucleus crosses the center reaches the midpoint between the opposite equator and the center of the and the pole anterior pole and it just crack the nucleus in this way and this is not a long chopper this is a very short chopper the length of the prong is about 0.66 millimeter After rotating 180 degree, the heminuclei are separated completely. And now each heminucleus is being separated into three fragments by two chops. This is first chop, and this is second chop. This principle is same. Deliver the ultrasonic energy into the substance of the nucleus, and thus there is no ultrasonic damage to the cornea and now rotating the nucleus and applying ultrasonic energy this is the first chop to the other hemineucleus and at this time I come out so the other heminucleus has been chopped into only two fragments now I inject visco so 
after chopping I have come out and this will give nice protection to the corneal endothelium one more thing at this time I'm going to do is I'm decree I am going to decrease the exposed part of the fecal tip rotating the sleeve and decreasing the exposed part because for emulsification I don't need a lot of ultrasonic energy ultrasonic energy has been applied used to divide the nucleus but for emulsification of each fragment I need a less ultrasonic energy so I just decreased the exposed part and I am emulsifying each nuclear fragment the ultrasonic energy is set at 80 percent and in continuous mode I am applying ultrasonic energy only when the tip is occluded and intermittently so this is a very efficient technique of nucleus management in heart cataracts yes I respect all surgeons every surgeon has his or her own techniques and as long as you get good results if you get clear cornea quiet anterior chamber a happy patient next day your technique is good so don't say my technique is bad and your technique is good or my technique is good or your technique is bad as long as your technique gives good results it is good and now we're towards the end of the nucleus management see I am tilting the nuclear piece going to the apex applying some ultrasonic energy there and if there is some joining band between two fragments that get emulsified that particular band gets emulsified and the nuclear pieces become free and now this is the last nuclear fragment at this time I ask my assistant to decrease the vacuum vacuum or sofa 400 flow rate of 40 and now it is vacuum is 100 and flow rate is 25 and very slowly I emulsify the last nuclear fragment take care of the posterior capsule it should not come forward and I should not catch the posterior capsule if I have any doubt of anterior chamber behaving abnormally if I have any doubt that posterior capsule may come forward I will apply the intraocular lens first and then emulsify the last piece using the intraocular lens as an scaffold as a scaffold and now this is SPMC again and in this case I find that there is very little cortex enlarging the main wound little bit by 0 0.2 millimeter making the incision 3 millimeter because I'm going to use a B cartridge so whenever you use a B cartridge please enlarge the main incision otherwise it may be difficult to deliver the lens into the capsular bag yes there are very little cortex and that has been removed by this 23 gauze Simco cannula and this is the cortex at 11 o'clock and I'm checking if there is any cortex yes there was some cortex at 1 o'clock yes at some at 12 o'clock and some cortex at two o'clock also that has been removed and now I'm going to inject visco to check with a Y pusher Y retractor uh, instrument an instrument which is which is shaped like an letter Y which it can retract the iris and you can see whether there is any cortex remaining anywhere this instrument so this when the pupil is not fully dilated when you think that there 
may be some cortex hidden by the iris you can use this instrument and now this is implantation of a monofocal single piece intraocular lens in the capsular bag this is super hope from upper sami associates no financial interest just to mention that this is a good lens and this is a very helpful company for us the indian surgeons we are good surgeons because of this company they helped in growing our practice and we are affording affording good machines because some day in the past they helped us it's a lot of respect very deep sincere regards to apasami associates and now the visco is nicely cleaned first with simco cannula please go behind the intraocular lens and irrigate the capsular bag and then use the irrigating probe or by manual ia irrigate the anterior chamber and irrigate the capsular bag also irrigate the angle now i'm using irrigation and aspiration together and a thorough cleaning of viscoelastic substance is done because unless we do this we are going to have raised intraocular pressure next day some visco is injected and the side ports are closed hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab wounds this is a totally unedited surgery and you are not missing anything i want you to excel to such a level that this surgery becomes very small thing to you your skills should be far better than what i am doing my beloved next gen youngsters thank you very much for your attention